Welcome back. Let's talk about nude lipstick. What's your definition of a nude lip look? Stop and think about it first. Because in today's growing makeup industry, nude lipstick has taken on a whole load of meanings. Sometimes today, finding the right nude lipstick could be as difficult or even trickier than finding the right red. Some people define a nude lip as your lips, but better, mm, pinky or peachy. Other people take it all the way to a brick red or a brown even. And some people just think of a nude lip as anything that's neutral or beige. But let's face it, there's one thing to avoid, and we're gonna talk about that today. And that's the dreaded concealer lip. Oh, you know what the concealer lip is. It's like when you uh, thoughtlessly wallpaper the door to a room in your home, creating some sort of terrifying escape room for people that visit. We don't want that on our face. And the reason that that sometimes happens is people think about their base, their, found, their foundation color. They think of their complexion when they put on a nude lipstick. And if you're matching your lipstick to your complexion, think about it. No wonder you're gonna get lips that look like you've applied concealer all over them. That is not a nude lip, it's just a mistake, and it's not pretty. We wanna look pretty. So let's talk about how to find the right shade of nude for your face. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Allie, my friend who runs Allie M's Beauty, down below, you'll see the link, pointed out something amazing to me that changed the nude lipstick game for me forever. Find the color of your natural naked lip rather than thinking about the color of your face. Go outside in the light, or you know, in good light inside, and take a picture of your lip with nothing on it. Just, I'll insert a picture of mine. For the first time when I looked at mine, I realized they were awfully pink. Sometimes my natural lip can almost be a bubblegum pink, to be honest with you. And I had never ever bought nude lipstick that way. In fact, when something seemed pink to me, I would stay away from it. I'm not a real lover of things that are pink. And so when I started veering a bit pinker in my choice of nude lipstick, all of a sudden I got a my lips but better look. Today I am wearing my lips but better and the way I achieved it is with the Victoria Beckham liner in shade two paired with uh, Chanel's La Rouge Duo, um, you know, the double-sided lipstick in Mary Rose. And this uh, has almost, oh, it stays forever, um, it has a wand on one side with a doe foot applicator and you wait for it to dry. And then this other end has a gloss on it. So that's what I am wearing today. And to me, this is my lips, but better. This to me is a true nude lipstick. Almost like I'm wearing nothing at all. But a nude lipstick doesn't have to be your lips, but better. Some of us are dying to try a metallic look or a sparkling lip, lip look but we don't feel it's appropriate for work. I know I look at some of these um, Pat McGrath sparkling purple and sparkling red lipsticks. They're gorgeous and I often buy them. I don't really have places to wear them to. But take for instance, here is a Natasha Denona Nude Metallic that I'll show you up top. And it is a very kind of nude way to wear a metallic. It's called Nude Metallic. How about this Tom Ford Lip Spark in Thrust? This is a beautiful color. This really comes off as a nude lipstick, as you can see above, but it's got that added sparkle. It's a great way to try metallic or sparkle if you really don't have anywhere to wear it to. Remember also, a nude lip doesn't have to be so reserved. You can go a little bit darker. Here is, look at this beautiful leather case with my initials on it. It, this is by La Bouche Rouge. This is a, a French makeup company, obviously, that makes refillable lipsticks in a beautiful little leather cases that you keep and then you magnetize in. Um, I got mine at Barney's. Rest in peace, Barney's. We miss you. 
um, when Bernie still existed. And this is a kind of a nude red. They actually call it that, I believe, a nude red. I'll, I'll find the exact name for the uh, description box below. But this is a very wearable red that you can almost wear like a nude lip, as you see above. But there's all sorts of others. You can, if you want to do your lip but better, you can do, I've got a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury liners, Iconic Nude, uh, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk 2. Remember, we're not talking here about skin color because I want you to look at your actual lip color instead and match that. You, for an everyday nude, you can do a nude lip liner that suits your natural lip color with a clear gloss over it. Don't be afraid to give it a try. It takes some experimentation. You know, you're going to have to stand at Sephora and put lines of things on your lips and hold them up because I don't recommend putting them on your actual lips, you. Um, but, you know, you can, you can certainly do that. Now, what about if you end up with the dreaded concealer lip? This is a tried and true favorite by so many of my friends. This is the shade Donatella by Pat McGrath. It is comfortable, it is beautiful, and on me, it completely disappears into my face. And I get concealer lip, escape room lip, whatever you wanna call it. But if, like me, you've invested in something like this, assumed you would, it would look wonderful on you, ordered it offline, spent a lot of money, never returned it. There is a quick fix. As you see above, what I did is I grabbed, and I honestly just grabbed whichever one is lying around. This is Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. And as you see here, what I do is, I don't even, I'm not even precise about it. I just open it up and just scribble it on my lips until it gives it enough contrast. And as you see, once I put even Bond Girl, which is kind of a red, really, a kind of a mulberry color, cranberry color, it just gives it just enough just enough to get rid of that concealer lip. It's just like mixing in a little bit of coloring in there. Um, what do you wear on your lips? What works with your lip color, not your skin color? Tell me below and please subscribe. It's been lovely to chat with you. Bye-bye.